Hello friends, welcome to Rajavil Education channel. In this video, we are going to see four JE 2023 answers based on electrochemistry nuanced equation. In this question, uh, cell representation or uh, cell notations is given and uh, E0 cell for uh, Fe3 plus 2, Fe2 plus and E0 cell for of H2 to H plus and uh, potential of the cell are given. The question is what is the ratio of concentration of Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus. Now we consider the cell notation. Here on left hand side it is a anode half cell. On right hand side it is a cathode half cell. So, at an anode, we know that oxidation occurs. So, of H2 gives H plus plus electron. And at cathode, reduction occurs. So, Fe3 plus plus electron gives Fe2 plus. On adding anode and cathode half cell reactions, we will get overall cell reaction. It is Fe3 plus plus half H2 gives Fe2 plus plus H plus. This is the Nernst equation. Here we have to change this Nernst equation according to our overall cell reaction. So this equation becomes like this. Here uh, N is the number of electrons involved in this uh, reaction. Here N value is 1. And uh, concentration of H2 is 1. For all molecule, concentration is 1. Next, we have to substitute E cell value and E0 cell. E cell value is given. E0 cell we have to calculate. E0 cell equal to ER minus E left. Uh, e left on uh, left hand side, we have a hydrogen electrode. Its value is 0. So, E0 cell value is 0.771. Now substituting all these values in this equation, we will get uh, this one. Um, bringing this 0.771 to left hand side and substituting concentration of H plus as 1 that is given in the question. So the equation becomes like this. And simplifying this value, we get minus 0.059 equal to minus 0 0.0591 log Fe2 plus by Fe3 plus. So on simplification, we get uh, this one. So 1 is equal to log uh, Fe2 plus by Fe3 plus. Taking anti-log on both sides, we will get concentration of Fe2 plus by a concentration of Fe3 plus equal to 10. This is the answer. Next, we see the second question. In this question, cell representation of redox reaction is given and E cell value is given. If uh, concentration of M plus by concentration of M3 plus equal to 10 to the power of E, what is the value of E? This is the question. To find out E, first we have to write down the cell reaction. For this, uh, we take a uh, the cell representation. Left side of salt bridge is known as anode half cell. Right side of salt bridge is known as cathode half cell. We know that at an anode oxidation occurs. Here uh, hydrogen electrode act as an anode. So it's a oxidation reaction is H2 gives 2H plus plus 2 electrons. At cathode this is a M3 plus Ions accept these two electrons gives N plus. Next, we have to add these two half cell reactions. During this addition, two electrons are cancelled out. So, the net reaction is M3 plus plus H2 gives M plus plus 2 H plus. Next, we consider this Nernst equation. Here, uh, we have to change this Nernst equation according to our cell reaction. In this reaction, n value is 2, that is 
number of electrons involved in this reaction are two. Next, we have to substitute E cell and E naught cell values. E cell values given, E naught cell we have to find out. Reduction potential of M3 plus 2 M plus is given. Its value is 0.2 volt. Standard hydrogen reduction potential is 0. So, its value is 0.2 volt. E naught cell value is 0.2 volt. Next, uh, concentration of H2 molecule is 1. Substituting these three values in this equation, we get this one. Here, concentration of H plus is 1 that is given in cell representation. So, substituting these values and simplify, we get uh, 3 equal to log concentration of M plus by concentration of M3 plus. Taking anti-log on both sides, we get 1000 equal to concentration of M plus by concentration of M3 plus. In this question, concentration of M plus by concentration of M3 plus value is 10 to the power of A. So, substituting right hand side value as 10 to the power of A. So that we can calculate A value by converting this 1000 into 10 to the power of 3. Here base are same. So powers also same. So A equal to 3. This is the answer. Next we see the third question. The question is at what pH the given half cell? That is MnO4 minus 2 Mn2 plus will have electrode potential of 1.282 volt given E0 value of MnO4 minus 2 Mn2 plus is 1.54 volt and uh, simplify the value of 2.303 Rd by F equal to 0 0.059 volt and concentration of MnO4 minus is 0.1 M and Mn2 plus is 0.001 M concentration. This question is taken from one of the question paper of IIT JE May 2023 from chapter electrochemistry based on Nernst equation. In question it is given as MnO4 minus is changed to 2 Mn2 plus. First, we have to find out the oxidation state of manganese in MnO4 minus. This one manganate we can write as MnO4 equal to minus 1. Oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. So, we have 4 oxygen in manganate MnO4 minus. So, we can write Mn minus 8 equal to minus 1. So, Mn equal to minus 1 plus 8 equal to 7. The oxidation state of manganese in manganate is 7. And the manganate, the oxidation state of manganese in manganate is reduced to Mn2+. plus. So, it is the reduction reaction. That is, oxidation state of manganese in manganate is reduced from plus 7 to plus 2 by accepting 5 electrons. Again, we have to balance this equation because uh, on reactant side, we have excess of oxygen. So, by adding 4 water molecules on product side, we get this one. Again, we have shortage of hydrogen on reactant side. So, we have to add 8H uh, plus on reactant side, we get balanced equation. That is MnO4 minus plus 5 electrons plus 8H plus gives 
M N two plus plus four H two. So now we have the balanced equation. Next, we have to consider the Nernst equation. Here we have to change this Nernst equation according to our balanced equation. Here n value is five, so number of electrons involved in this reaction five. In question that is. 2.303 RT by F is equal to 0.059, so we can change that value also. And the E cell value is given as uh, 1.282 volt, and the E naught cell value is given as 1.54 volt. And concentration of Am2 plus it is given as 0.001 m and the concentration of MnO4 minus is 0.1 m. Concentration of H2O is equal to 1 because it is in molecule. For all molecule, concentration of molecule is equal to 1. So here we have changed this Nernst equation and substituted. Uh, all given values. Here we have to simplify these values. On bringing 1.54 to left hand side, we get uh, this equation. And uh, simplifying this uh, 0.001 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and 0.1, we can write 10 to the power of minus 1 and substituting these values. In this equation, we get uh, this one. 1.282 minus 1.54 is equal to minus 0 0.258. And log uh, of 10 to the power of minus 3 by log 10 to the power of minus 1, we can write like this according to exponents law, power and exponents law. So 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 to the power of plus 1 becomes 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 1 according to addition of uh, powers and exponent gives 10 to the power of minus 2. By taking minus 0 0.059 by 5 as a common one we get uh, like this. And according to logarithm, we can split up this uh, log 10 to the power of minus 2 by concentration of h plus, h plus power 8 into like this. Now, we are going to bring this uh, values, numerical values into left hand side. We get uh, like this. And simplifying this uh, minus 0 0.258 by 0 po minus 0 0.059 approximately it gives 4 times so 4 into 5 equal to 20 so it is approximate value only so i can write like this so log 10 to the power of minus 2 we can write minus 2 log 10 and uh, log h plus power minus 8 we can write minus 8 log concentration of h plus log 10 value is 1 so uh, it becomes minus 2 so bringing this minus 2 into left hand side we get uh, 22 on left hand side is approximately equal to 8 pH because negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration is known as pH. So 22 plus 2 is approximately equal to 8 pH. So simplifying this 22 by 8 gives pH. Its value is approximately 2.75. So we can say its pH is approximately equal to Three. So this is the answer.
Next, we see the fourth question. At 298 Kelvin, a liter solution containing 10 millimole of dichromate and 100 millimole of chromium 3 plus shows a pH of 3. Given dichromate gives chromium 3 plus. Its E0 value is 1.330 volt. And 2.303 by F into RT equal to 0.059 volt. The potential for the half cell reaction is X into 10 to the power of minus 3 volt. What is the value of X? First, we have to balance this uh, half cell reaction. On product side, it is given as uh, plus 3 oxidation state of chromium. But in uh, reactant side, we have to find out the oxidation state of chromium in dichromate. So, Cr2O7 2 minus that is dichromate ion, we can write Cr2O7 equal to minus 2. We know that oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2. Substituting these values in this equation, we get 2 Cr minus 14 equal to minus 2. Solving this one, we get chromium equal to plus 6. So in this reaction, oxidation state of chromium in dichromate is plus 6. It is reduced from plus 6 state to plus 3. So it is reducing reaction. So we can write reducing reaction of dichromate to chromium 3 plus. Next we have to balance the chromium atoms. On reactant side two chromium atoms are present. So we have to multiply by 2 on product side. To get equal number of electrons we get uh, we have to multiply um, 3 electrons by 2. So the equation is Cr2O7 2 minus plus 6 electrons gives 2 Cr3 plus. Next, uh, we have to balance uh, the number of oxygen atoms. On reactant side, we have 7 oxygen atoms. So we have to add uh, 7 water molecules on product side. So the equation becomes Cr2O7 2 minus plus 6 electrons gives 2 Cr3 plus plus 7 H2O. Next, we have to balance the hydrogen atoms. On product side, 14 hydrogens are present. So, we have to add 14 H plus on reactant side. Now, we check uh, the number of atoms on both the sides. Here it is, that is uh, here, uh, the number of atoms are same on both the reactants and products. So the equation is, balanced equation is Cr2O7 2 minus plus 6 electrons plus 14H plus gives 2 Cr3 plus plus 7H2. Now we got the balanced equation, that is Cr2O7 2 minus plus 6 electrons plus 14H plus gives 2Cr3 plus plus 7H2. Now we have to consider the Nernst equation. Here we have to change this Nernst equation according to our balanced equation. So we get uh, like this E cell equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 divided by 6 where n is equal to 6 that is number of electrons involved in this reaction are 6. Log concentration of Cr3 plus power 2 because its coefficient is 2 and H2O power 7 divided by Cr2O7 2 minus into concentration of H plus whole power 40. Now we have to substitute these values in this equation. E cell value it is given as x into 10 to the power of minus 3 volt. So E naught cell value is given as uh, 1.330 volt. And Cr3 plus concentration of Cr3 uh, plus 
is given as 100 millimole and uh, concentration of uh, cr 2072 minus is given as 10 millimole first we have to find out that what is uh, 10 millimole of cr 207 and uh, 100 millimole of cr 3 plus 1 millimole is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 mole. Here it is given as 10 millimole of CR207. So we have to multiply uh, this 10 to the power of minus 3 by 10. We get 10 to the power of minus 2. So 10 millimole equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 mole. Now we have to find out the concentration of CR207. Concentration is equal to number of moles per liter. Here it is given as 1 liter. So concentration of CR2O7 is 10 to the power of minus 2. And uh, concentration of uh, CR3 plus, again we have to change it. 100 millimoles equal to 100 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mole. So 100 millimole equal to 10 to the power of minus 1 mole. So, concentration of CR3 plus is equal to 10 to the power of minus 1 mole per litre. Next, we have to find out the H plus concentration. There. For that, it is given as pH value is 3. So, pH is equal to negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. So, 3 is equal to minus log H. Changing this uh, negative value, we get minus 3 log H plus. And taking anti-log, we get 10 to the power of minus 3 is equal to H plus. So, concentration of H plus is 10 to the power of minus 3. Now, we have all the values. And substituting these all values into that balance the nernst equation we get this one here logarithm terms should be simplified so log 10 to the power of minus 1 into 2 we can write 10 to the power of minus uh, 2 and uh, 10 to, on denominator 10 to the power of minus 3 into 14 we can say 10 to the power of minus 42 now we move this denominator values to the numerator according to powers and exponents division law so we get 10 to the power of minus 2 into 10 to the power of plus 2 into 10 to the power of 42 this one we can take uh, 10 to the power of minus 2 plus 2 plus 42 because base are same so, on simplifying these values, we get 10 to the power of 42. So, next we have to change this log 10 to the power of 42 into uh, 42 into log 10. We know that log 10 value is 1. So, this equation becomes this one. So, 42 by 6 equal to 7. So, on simplifying these values, we get x into 10 to the power of minus 3 equal to 1.330 minus 0 0.413. Its value is 0 0.917. 0 0.917, we can write 917 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So, x value is 917. This is the answer. Thank you.